Hey Errol, good talking to you today. What I want to talk about with you in this video is basically images and how they can increase your conversion um, when people actually see your product listed. So magnetic running pouches up here. Um, here you are down here about mid page one. So basically we're talking about image conversion um, boost in sales. So I mentioned something called 3D rendering. So it's not really an image, it's a 3D render of your product. And I'm gonna give you a couple examples. So let's click on um, this product right here. So this right here, um, just to give you another example of product imagery. So this right here, I believe this is a 3D rendering right here. I see it hatch really crisp and stuff. There's a lot of detail. This may not be as a high quality 3D render. Um, that's why it doesn't really pop out. And I'm gonna show you some here. People I know, these people that own these products and similar products. So this right here is a ice ball maker. So it's basically an FBA product. But when you click on it, just look at the crispness of that image. So those ice balls right there, those aren't real. So those were created with um, basically some skill sets that I don't know, but I know people that actually do these really well. Um, this isn't actually the product. It's a 3D render of the act of what the actual product looked like. But it, it helps the conversion rate because when you look on, look at that right there, that see that shiny, how shiny that ball is and stuff, that really pops out at people's eyes. Um, and, you know, these people are crushing it with reviews and stuff. This product's been out probably about three or four years now. Um, let's go to another one here. So this is the same concept right here. Um, sorry, my phone was ringing. Really, really nice images. Um, really stands out. This one's actually done even better on the the ice right there. I mean, it almost looks real, but this is not real. This is computer generated stuff right here. Um, let's see. Let's see what their other images look like. So that one may be a 3D rendering as well, not the actual packaging. Um, here's another one, a guy that I know created this product right here. Let me back up. So Blade Butler. That's a really sharp looking image. It fills up the space or around here that the image can go in. That's another thing that I noticed on some of these listings right here, like this one, when you click on that, that's a small image. People can't really see the detail very well on that. So you can't even zoom in on this one. So the file size there um, has a lot to do with that. So let's get back over here to Blade Butler. So just really, really nice images. So there's three of them stacked together so you can get different views of the product. Um, amazing, amazing detail. But you can't do that with standard photography. This is, like I said, 3D rendering. Um, let's go over here to one more. Well, actually, that was what I'll, I had pulled up right there. So those are just some examples. There's other people selling knife sharpeners. And I just want to, let me duplicate this page. Type in knife sharpener. So I know there's other people selling this right here, so that don't have really good images. Probably on the page two and three. I haven't looked at this in a while. So let's check this one out right here. All right, so that, that one is a 3D rendering as well. It's just a little zoomed in on the focus on the on the brand, on the labeling right there. Um, but see, a lot of these products, like, like this right here, very, very, very poor image. You know, they should put that on a white background. Um, just do a lot better. Trust me, it absolutely will in, explode your conversions. Um, when you have really high quality images. So I look forward to talking to you um, and Brenda on Monday at two um, and hoping that we can figure out a way we can work together. All right, talk soon, bye-bye.